How's everyone doing today? Good. All right. <laughs> Nagila hapa, nagila hapa, nagila ven is me ha. Hapa, nagila hapa, nagila hapa, nagila ven is me ha. Hapa nera nena, hapa nera nena, hapa nera nena ven is me ha. Hapa nera nena, hapa nera nena, hapa nera nena ven is me ha. Hapa nagila hapa nagila hapa nagila ben ismeha. Hapa nagila hapa nagila hapa nagila ben ismeha. Shalom, everyone. Happy Hanukkah. My name is Zachary, and I am so excited to celebrate Hanukkah with all of you here at the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays. I have a love of travel. And in my travels, I've learned that people in different places and cultures celebrate Hanukkah in their own way. And now I get to share what I've learned with all of you. You know, a lot of people think that Hanukkah is a very serious and somber, holy holiday, and that's not completely true. In fact, Hanukkah is the only Jewish holiday not even specifically mentioned in the Torah, our holy book. Hanukkah is actually a joyful holiday, celebrating a victory and a miracle. Now, it all began in 166 BCE, a small band of Jews known as the Maccabees defeated the large and powerful Assyrian army, driving them out of Jerusalem and reclaiming the Holy Temple. After the battle, the Maccabees rededicated the temple and relit the eternal candle, which is required to burn in Jewish synagogues at all times. They only found enough oil to light the candle for one day. Yet, by a miracle, the candle burned bright for eight days, long enough for a messenger to return with more oil. This is why we now celebrate eight days of Hanukkah. Now, during the eight days and nights of Hanukkah, families gather together. We eat, we sing songs, we eat, we exchange presents. Oh, by the way, did I mention? Yeah, we eat. Specifically, we eat potato latkes and jelly donuts, both foods cooked in oil to remind us of the oil that kept the candle burning for the Maccabees so long ago. We also light the candles of the Hanukkah, a nine branch menorah. Tonight, actually, will be the fifth night of Hanukkah. We are right in the middle of it. Therefore, in anticipation of that, we have lit six candles. The center candle, called the Shamash, and the five candles starting from the right. The Shamash is the servant candle. It serves as a reminder for each of us to be a light shining into a dark world. Tomorrow night, we will light the Shamash and the first six candles, and so on, until the eighth night, when all the candles are lit and burning bright. Light the first of eight tonight For this candle to the right Light the first and second too When tomorrow's day is through Then light three and then light four Every dusk light one candle more Till all eight burn bright and high Honoring a day gone by in my family, like so many other families around the world, our tradition was to exchange presents immediately after lighting the candles. Now, my parents always gave us kids the biggest presents on the first and the last nights. The nights in between were, I guess you could say, for much smaller presents. School supplies, clothes, an extra fancy pair of socks. Check out these sweet babies I got last year. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can see them all the way over there, can't you? Yeah, you can't miss them. And we got some of the Hanukkah staples. Chocolate coins called gelt, and of course, dreidels. Now a dreidel, if you didn't know, is a four-sided spinning top. Much like this one here, just not nearly as huge. On each side is a Hebrew letter. Nun, Gimel, Hey, and Shin. My sisters and brothers and I would each take some of our Hanukkah gelt and put it into a pot. And then one at a time, we would spin the dreidel. The dreidel landed on Nun, but get nothing. They landed on Shin, we need to add another one of our chocolate coins to the pot. 
If it landed on hay, we got half the coins in the pot. And if one of us was lucky enough for the dreidel to land on gimel, we got all the chocolate gelt. Now, while we played, we would sing the classic dreidel song. I'm sure you've heard it before, and I can sing it for you now, but I think I might need some help. Does anyone want to help me out with the classic dreidel song? Anyone at all? That's okay, then you are all my collective volunteer. So here's what's going to happen. When I, I will take care of most of the words of the song, okay? But when I raise the dreidel high in the air, I need you all to be in charge of one very important word. Do you think you can guess what that word is? Dreidel, very good. So when I raise it up in the air, we're all going to say nice and loud. Dreidel. Let's try it with the song. I have a little, I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, then I will play. Oh, I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, then I will play. Let's try it really fast now. Ready? Three, two, one. I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, then I will play. Give yourselves a round of applause, my fantastic choir. I have always loved my family's Hanukkah tradition so much. And that's why I was thrilled to get out in the world and see how different families and countries far from here celebrate this joyous holiday. Did you know that in Yemen and North Africa, they make the seventh night of Hanukkah a celebration of women? They call it Chag Havanah, the holiday of the daughters, in honor of the strong women connected to the Jews' battle for freedom. On this night, the synagogue is open just for women to come and, and worship the Torah, to dance and bless their daughters and fellow Jewish women. In Turkey, on the last night of Hanukkah, some families celebrate a holiday they call Merenda, which literally translates to snack. The night is basically a giant potluck. Jewish families will travel to each other's home, sharing home prepared dishes and food. I told you we like to eat. On this day, children will collect flour from their neighbors while chanting and singing, give us flowers so that God will give you life. And speaking of music, in Argentina, many Jews speak in a Judeo-Spanish language called Ladino. Hey, let's fix my guitar strap, how about that? And there's an old Ladino song that Argentinians sing to celebrate Hanukkah. And it's called Ocho Canelicas. And once I get my guitar strap back on, we'll be able to play it for you. <laughs> but in English, Ocho Canelicas translates to eight little candles. All right, crisis averted. Let's get going here. All right, we're going to get to it right now. Manaku linda hasta aquí, ocho canelas para ti. Manaku linda hasta aquí, ocho canelas para mí. Oh, una candelica, dos candelicas, tres candelicas, cuatro candelicas, cinco candelicas, seis candelicas, siete candelicas. Ocho candelas para mí. Beautiful Hanukkah is here. Eight candles for me. Beautiful Hanukkah is here. Eight candles for me. Oh, one little candle, two little candles, three little candles, four little candles, five little candles, six little candles, seven little candles. Eight candles for me. Thank you. Such a fun song. And there are so many other wonderful Hanukkah songs and traditions out there in the world. Yet it seems, no matter where in the world you are, Hanukkah is about remembering the miracle. It's about remembering to be a light and celebrating with food, fun, but most importantly, family. Clap along with me here on this one. Don't be shy, there we go. Remind us of days long ago. One for each. 
each night they shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. Talk Samaic. Happy Hanukkah. Please enjoy the rest of your day here at the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays.